So far, summer 2016, I woke up drenched in sweat. Why? Because it was a hazard. No, it was results day. And I, at the time, was a terminal student. I was shaking as I, went, as I got up. Because all the time that I spent studying geography and math, oh no, 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 no. I spent them watching The Walking Dead. Nice. <laughs> I left the hut in a hurry. I left the hut going to the only man with a working show, with a working phone. And I was I that, I screamed out, yeah, fair, yeah, fair. I think the results came out. Really? What's your number? What's your number? Well, if it's 54102SE, can you check them out, please? Okay, 54102SE. And it's not working. What do you mean it's not working? It is not working. Yeah, it's not working. Can you try again? Sure. Uh, it didn't work. What do you mean it didn't work? Yeah? No, Khaled. It didn't work. I am terribly sorry, my friend. And with a blink of an eye, all of that I built up was gone. My job at summer camp simply gone. My next promotion in scouts gone. And my driver's license that I was promised by my beloved uncle. Gone. But worst of all, what was truly gone was a year of my life. I had a huge sign that was written in red. And that sign said failure. It was raised up off my head to the end of my days. Imagine living on your parents' couch. Day after day after day, listening to their relentless speeches that are definitely not as fun as mine. <laughs> <coughs> Talking and whimpering about why you are still at home and you have nothing to do. You see, I had a problem. And that problem was me not knowing that I had a problem. Proprioception. But yet, I knew the symptoms of the problem. My laziness was killing me. My procrastination was making me feel like a terrible person. I was going down to the pits of hell. Yet one day, opportunity knocked on my door. It was my father, the greatest man that ever lived. He said, Khaled, why don't you accompany me to my journeys one day? I want, you to, I want to introduce you to a man that you might help. Wait, did he just say the word help? <laughs> Me? Help anyone? All I could do well is talk. That was the only thing that I could do well. <coughs> so I reluctantly met Dr. Shelley. Dr. Shelley is a dentist with a huge medicinal, with a huge business background. What he wanted to do was create a website that connected dentists together so they can learn how to market and manage their clinics. And he wanted a man that was really fluent in English. So that is the connection. Fluency, check, talking, check. Shadi, you have your map. And thus began my journey as a voice actor. And that was not the only beginning. In fact, after meeting that man, my eyes opened up for the world. And I saw the new features that I could get. You see, cell phone was what I was missing for a long, long time. So I gave myself those pep talks, those you're worthy talks, in front of the mirror every single day of my life, till I reached a realization that I only have to impress myself. And anybody else should be impressed because I am impressing myself. <laughs> I became a better person. I became an accountable person. I took up my thoughts and I accepted my failures. And I realized that the only thing that could change was when me, when I decided to change it. I had a better social life. I made friends that were actually friends. And I became a better person. Not only that, I learned to love myself for who I am. There are things that actually took place and made me become who I am today. Toastmasters were one of them. 
I used to speak in these to speakers and readers. <laughs> <laughs> they only allowed me to be students. I attended Toastmasters as a guest for two and a half years in three clubs, speakers and readers, Pro Toast, and right now I am a member of Mercury Toastmasters and part of Exicon. That's a pretty good start, isn't it? <laughs> My friends, the thing is about journeys is that they don't exactly end. You're a part of the legacy that you will always build on and live on. Who would have thought that me failing terminal would be the very start of my journey? Right now, I am delivering the very first icebreaker of Mercury Toastmasters. I am currently a 3.42 GPA in the Lebanese International University that my father did not believe existed since I was a daft kid at school. And finally, I am a scout and a voice actor. I am, I became a better man. Aristotle once said that we are what we repeat to be to. Therefore, excellence is not an act, but a habit. Your failures, they are the roots of all, all your success. Embrace them. Well, those masters.